Hey guys, um, this is just a little update to let you know what's been going on and why I haven't been posting lately. Um, first off, I actually have a new job. Um, I'm going to be selling life, health, and accidental insurance. So right now I am studying to get my bonding license because I have to be bonded by the state of Louisiana to be able to sell it within my state. And I've already taken my test and I failed it by like 19 points. I was 19 points away to, from passing, which kind of like made me mad because it's not like very textbook tests. Like, you know, um, um, what's, um, oh, what's a good way to say this? Um, like it's not really just like what's the stages of a third party contract and what is it used for? Like, um. Part of the first part of the insurance, part of the second part is the insured, and part of the third part is the policy owner, and it's used in juvenile term life policies and key employee policies. Like, it's not like questions like that. It's like situations, and like all the answers are super, super, super close together, and it doesn't really give you that defining hint to, you know, single out at least maybe two answers out of the five, but, um... And also it has, uh, I did miss a lot of the questions for the new reformed healthcare act. Um, I had quite a bit of those and it didn't really cover it in my textbook and like every site I go to that ha that says it has some stuff about it, you have to pay to become a member of that site to read that information. I'm like, uh, not really. Um, but other than that, I actually did pretty good for my first try because a lot of people say they don't even get that high when they fail the first time. They like, like score really, really, really low. So um, that's like 80% of my time right there besides work. And the other time, the other 20% that I have when I'm home is my new business. Yes, I've launched a business. I have been making little bath products like bath salts, um, bath bombs, and and bath scrubs, and body lotions, and lip glosses, and stuff like that, like for years. Um, I kind of just did it as a hobby as a teenager because I was homeschooled, and well, you know, I needed more stuff to fill up my day. So my grandma would actually teach me how to do these things, and I would actually do them. And normally I do give them as gifts around the holidays for my friends who enjoy stuff like that. And after years of persuading, I finally just listened to them and just, you know, started selling them. I actually have two, I sell them on two sites. I have my own site that I made that is really, really funkitated, but, you know, I made it in a night at like 2 a.m. when I could not sleep, so. Um, but I only accept PayPal on there because for me to accept credit cards in any other form of payment would like cost me almost $200 extra a month on that so I don't accept credit cards I only do PayPal because it's really doesn't charge anything from you guys and it really doesn't charge anything from me it's completely free but for me to do the credit card it would actually charge you extra on your orders than what it should be and it would cost me like $200 a month for it so I was like no uh, maybe because it's like a, it's a small business site, website I have and I think that's probably why I mean, if I was like probably a huge business, it probably would not be that be that much for me to to do it. But um, the other one I have is on Etsy because let's face it, Etsy you can do check, you can do cash, you can do whatever. I mean, well, not cash obviously, but um, you can do credit cards and stuff like that, and it's all done from the Etsy, so they pay the major high price of accepting credit cards. But I actually have some products that I actually just finished. This is, for, this is from an order I just filled from someone at work. Um, these are the three inch bath bombs. These are uh, fresh rain. Um, yeah, these, I normally let my bath bombs and stuff like this harden for like 48 hours, so two days before I fill an order. So these. I've done for someone at work. There are two fresh rain bath bombs and um, 
two rose mold. This one is strawberry, and this one is sugar cookie. Um, I only have mold, the rose mold right now, but I actually am getting more molds because I I do use them for making homemade soaps, which also will be soon available soon. Once I actually procure all the products, um, most of it is pretty much just homemade product. You know, they're all homemade products, really. But um, most of it is m made pretty much from like food safe stuff. Like um, this, these are made with um, baking soda, Epsom salt, um, citric acid, uh, gel food coloring, and a fragrance oil. So other than the fragrance oil, everything is pretty much food safe and whatnot. So if you are allergic to like perfumes and, and stuff like that, I would not suggest it because it is a perfume oil that I use in there for scent. I think I put like half a teaspoon in there. It's like a half a teaspoon, but still. Um, it's pretty much, it's half a teaspoon makes it really strong smelling when you get it but when you put it in your water it's not going to really be strong it's not going to nauseate you to the point it makes you sick or anything it's going to end up diluting in the water and just give you a light fragrance so um, I'm actually working on my fizzy powder I have fizzy powder um, I'm fixing to start on uh, fizzy bath salts um, I know my friends love those so got that going on I need to get started my lotion and I also need to find some ingredients to make my bubble bars I love those things are bubble bars um, don't let the, the title fool you it's um it's a bubble bath bar it's just a bar that you crumble in your bath under the running water and it will create the bubbles just like a bubble bath so um, I'm fixing to start all that but of course like I said I'm studying and working full time so that's gonna slowly come together and plus bills so that kind of puts a damper on things right there so do check out the websites order um, I will be doing gift baskets for the holidays of the stuff I actually have pretty much on the site so as I, like I said as I get the stuff I'll add I'm adding new stuff um, weekly there's actually one I'm fixing to start that I actually have been testing and I've been using my dad and myself as the guinea pig where is it ah. um, this is gonna be for my new bath bombs I don't know what I'm gonna call these things but um, I use eucalyptus mint oil and for those who don't know eucalyptus mint oil is really good for when you're sick and congested when you breathe it in, it's supposed to help loosen everything. And I've actually, actually, this is my second bottle. Like I use the first bottle just with me and my dad because recently we've been sick and we've been I've been making little um, eucalyptus bath bombs with it. And it's like, oh my god, I did not want to get the tub. I just wanted to keep smelling it, and it really did help because like I was when I get sick, I get sick for like maybe weeks at a time. But um, actually, I was pretty much only sick for a week, which is unusual for me. So to me, I really think this works. So I went out and bought me another little bottle because that's all they have is the small ones right now. I need to get the big ones. So that's going to be coming up on my site pretty soon. Of course, I'm going to have it in the, in the bath bombs and, of course, as a bath mold. So do check that out. And I will... Hopefully get back with some more tutorials soon. If you want to see an, a character, just um, leave it in the comment section or just, you know, message me and tell me who the character is and what series they're from. So that way I can try, even if I don't know the character, I'll be able to go look it up and read up on the character and kind of get a sense of it so I can do the look for you. But don't be afraid to request, guys, because you know I love to do your requests. So, hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving, and hopefully if I don't get back in time 
to do tutorials. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful and happy and safe thing. Um, Christmas and New Year's and hopefully I'll be back soon. Of course with more products on my site and to do tutorials and hopefully with a better, hopefully I can say I have a better job. Hopefully I'll be able to start that job. Oh yes, I'm excited for that. I'm excited because that would give me more money to put back into the, my business and of course put it on YouTube so that way I can bring you guys better quality videos and maybe get a better editing program because I'm just using a cheap little $50 one right now. So yeah, love you guys and hopefully to see you soon and go check out my site and help me fund pretty much my test because that's pretty much what this is all going towards right now is funding my tests. Yeah, to be bonded, it's expensive to take that test. I have to pay like $150 every time I take it. Yeah, fun, but like I said, it's worth it.